All right, YouTube. Um, here comes the thoughts on iManifold after I owned it for a few days. Um, I've been surprised how many guys have said that if I changed my mind and kept it, they wouldn't blame me. And I can't even imagine keeping it after I said that I'd give it away. Um, that's not me. Uh, if I say I'm going to do something and I don't do it, I'd better be dead, and that's why I didn't do it. But uh, anyway, here we go. So, when I got my first digital manifold, I bought the Testo 550. And every time I used it, I felt like I was using the device to its full potential. And since that device simply does multiple refrigerants, superheat, subcool, and pressures, I think I was using it to its full potential. The Testo 570, after I had purchased... I think I bought four sets of Testo 550s over the years, um, and the biggest reason I had more than one set of digital gauges um, was because I had more than one set of analog gauges previously. And the reason I wanted more than one set of gauges was not necessarily because I didn't want to mix refrigerants, which I didn't, um, or mix oils between refrigerants, um, but the biggest reason I had more than one set of uh, digital gauges was actually for the fact that down here in North Carolina there are more homes with multiple units than there are homes with a single system. And if you're out for a check and clean, it simply makes sense to shorten that time by running all of the systems at the same time, if you can. Um, where I did the speed cleaning on the four train systems, I didn't have enough gauges, but I had three sets, and I was checking three units, and then when I finished the check on the first, I switched it to the fourth. Um, and you can imagine checking three units at the same time drastically reduced my time on that call. Um, and so that's why I had more than one set of gauges. Now, getting back to the 570. When I bought the 570, I picked it up from the guys at True Tech Tools um, because they had the best price. I checked my local Johnstone, and they were easily $100 more um, on the 570 than the guys at True Tech. So I went with TrueTech because of their phenomenal pricing. Um, when I got the 570, I never felt like I was using a tool that was neutered by simply checking superheat and subcool. I know that the 570 will do a lot more than that um, with its additional probe uh, port on the top. Um, but I never felt like I was neutered because I was I felt like I was using the tool to its full potential now when I got the I manifold out of its box and played around with it at first I didn't think anything of it I thought this is awesome this is amazing um, this is so cool and I had been playing with the app previously but I never really felt like um, I was being, or I was doing less than I could using the app or when I first opened up the iManifold. After a couple of days of hooking it up to a couple of systems, um, I immediately felt like I was only scratching the surface of what this tool would do for me. Um, at this point, if you've got the standard gauge set with two temperature leads um, 
you are literally only scratching the surface of what that tool will do for you. Not to mention, when all of the other sensors hit the market, that device will save time like crazy. Right now, if you want to do a full system checkout on the iManifold and get your performance uh, list within the app, you've got to do a lot of extra um, amp draws and volts and humidity and temperatures. And right now, the iManifold is really just another testo uh, or field piece gauge set unless you've got the extra sensors. Um, it, it, it will replace a, uh, a sling psychrometer, it will replace a temperature lead, it will replace uh, clamps, amp clamps, voltmeters, when the full system hits the market. That device will replace so many tools that I carry around right now. Um, of course, I'll have new tools to fill those places, but they will all integrate into one holistic, totally uh, feature-rich device. And um, I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying I cannot wait until all of the sensors and clamps and meters and everything hits the market to where I can use it at its full potential. Um, I'm really excited for when that time comes. I certainly don't want to rush them in producing these products. Every time that I've heard of a rush, um, rush to market, the device has suffered. And I think they've started with a very strong base device. The manifold is solid. The temperature leads are amazing. Um, I've never had so much fun putting my clamp on the refrigerant lines. The elastic, I can kind of see that being a potential issue. Um, if you're using it literally every day, 15 times a day or whatever, um, but I'm sure that they'll offer the elastic band to replace it because I see the temperature lead itself as being extremely robust. Um, for that matter, if I have to electrical tape it to the line, um, I'll do that. But um, I think without dragging this on and on, um, thoughts on iManifold after owning it for a couple of days are, hell yeah, give me more. I can't wait until the rest of the sensors hit the market. And um, I guess I do kind of want to wait a little while because I need to recoup the cost of this giveaway that I just did. But um, give me more. Uh, I'm ready for it. It will, uh, it will make me so much more efficient. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your likes and your comments and your shares. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Hopefully with an iManifold.